Elon Musk is now the richest man in the world, overtaking Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. His net worth has soared in recent months, now exceeding $185 billion. The skyrocketing price of Tesla shares recently has helped a lot with this. But what are Elon Musk's secrets to business success? He's got six of them, apparently. I'm looking at an article on the BBC News website. I'll pop a link in the description. It's based on an interview between the journalist and Elon Musk just a few years ago. As well as revealing Elon's six secrets to business success, I'll share my thoughts on why these matter and how you might apply them in your own life. And keep on watching until the end of the video because I'm going to share one more success secret from Elon Musk that I spotted back at the start of 2018. I don't think it's been talked about widely before. Hi everyone, I'm Martin Bamford, a chartered financial planner, personal finance YouTuber and money author. On this channel, I talk about personal finance, investing and happiness. I make these videos to help you become wealthier and happier. If that sounds like a great result, click on that little red subscribe button, become part of our subscriber community. It's completely free and you'll never miss an episode. What are the secrets to success of taking Elon Musk from child of a single parent household in South Africa to the richest man on the planet? Justin Rowlett, who is a BBC journalist, has written up Elon Musk's Six Secrets to Business Success. It's based on an interview from 2014, and it marks the news that Musk is now the richest man in the world. Rowlett spent nearly an hour talking to Elon Musk, discovering these six secrets. So let's get straight into them. Number one, it isn't all about the money. Rowlett says that this is absolutely central to Elon Musk's attitude towards business. During the interview, Elon claimed not knowing how rich he was. He said, it's not as if there is a pile of cash somewhere. It's really just that I have a certain number of votes in Tesla and SpaceX and Solar City, and the marketplace has value on those votes. For someone like Elon Musk, where the majority of his wealth is wrapped up in share ownership, I can understand this approach. Musk has spoken before about being absolutely broke, in cash terms at least, when he sold his shares in PayPal. Back in December 2008, he gave everything he had to keep Tesla going. The $180 million payout from PayPal was ploughed straight back into Tesla, SpaceX and Solar City. He was a millionaire, but going through a divorce and living on handouts from his friends. In the BBC article, Rowlett says that Musk doesn't have anything against the pursuit of wealth, saying in the interview if it's done in sort of an ethical and good manner. But money isn't what appears to drive the billionaire. It's also interesting to note that Elon doesn't plan to die rich. He's actually planning to spend most of his wealth building a base on Mars and thinks that ambitious project could consume his entire fortune. This is an increasingly common attitude among wealthy people. Not the building a base on Mars bit, I think that's just Elon. But the realisation that life is about so much more than money. The best measure of wealth, I believe, is freedom. What money can do for you. Money is a great way of keeping score and then facilitating your freedom. But it's not an end in itself. Success secret number two from Musk is to pursue your passions. Musk is an incredibly driven entrepreneur with a big vision. He told Roller in the interview, you want things in the future to be better. You want these new exciting things that make life better. There are some great examples of this in Musk's life, including the creation of SpaceX, born out of his frustration that the US space program wasn't ambitious enough. Today, SpaceX has revolutionized space transportation and exploration, and it's a significant contributor to the start of a new space race. But Musk didn't start SpaceX to make money. He started it to further his goal of landing a human on Mars. Musk is an engineer. It's in his DNA to solve problems. He told Rowlett that he gets up in the mornings and he has his desire to solve technical problems. That's his yardstick of progress, solving a problem once and then that helping everyone else in the world who's been trying to solve the same problem. For example, opening up all of Tesla's patents to speed up worldwide production of electric cars. What is your meaningful purpose? I talked about this in my recent New Year's resolutions video. I'll put a link up here somewhere. And it is such an important driver of success. Spending that time getting to understand what you truly want in life, then it forms the basis of everything you do to reach towards that goal. 
Success secret number three, don't be afraid to think big. Musk encapsulates this idea, this whole idea of going big or going home. He didn't just want to build a car company. He wanted to revolutionize the entire car industry. He didn't just want to build a rocket, although that's pretty big in itself. He wanted to colonize Mars. He's actively working on the integration of the human brain and artificial intelligence right now. Musk told Roller in their interview his third business tip was don't hold back. He talks about low ambition being backed in most companies' incentive structures, saying if you're the CEO of a big company and you aim for something that's a modest improvement and it takes longer than expected and doesn't work out quite as well, then nobody's going to blame you. Instead of this approach, he advises doing the stuff that's going to matter. For Musk, that includes accelerating the inevitable transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy and ensuring the long-term survival of humanity by colonizing Mars and making life multi-planetary. There's a similar message from another entrepreneur I follow, that's Gary Vaynerchuk, who wants to buy the New York Jets. He calls this ambition a foregone conclusion. I love his confidence, but it's a big, big goal, what we sometimes call a big, hairy, audacious goal. One of my all-time favourite quotes comes from the movie director James Cameron, who said, if you set your goals ridiculously high and it's a failure, you will fail above everyone else's success. Are your goals set high enough? Are you ambitious enough in your mission? Musk's fourth secret to success is being ready to take risks. Looking back at his career to date, he's taken a lot of business risks and they've paid off. You don't become the richest man in the world without taking a lot of risk. But Musk's path to becoming a multi-billionaire hasn't been a smooth ride the whole time. He had to keep on putting his personal wealth into his businesses to keep them alive. He told Roller, I could either keep the money, then the companies are definitely going to die, or invest what I have left, and maybe there is a chance. To stand a chance of getting a higher reward, you need to take more risk. There is this unbreakable link between risk and reward. As long as you're willing to take that risk, and you can afford to take the risk, and you need to take that risk to achieve your goals in life, then that's absolutely fine. How much risk are you willing to take to achieve your goals in life? Is that level of risk tolerable? Lesson number five is to ignore the critics. This is a lesson I'm trying very hard to teach our middle child right now. She's at that age where she cares too much about what other people might think. We went out for a dog walk together the other day. I was wearing shorts and wellies and she was mortified, refusing to walk within 20 meters of me. I think the moment I realized that the critics are not worth listening to, I became that much happier in life. It really frees you up to do what you want. Musk said in the interview that he was shocked by how much delight many pundits and commentators took in his challenges. He said the liberal schadenfreude was really quite astonishing. There were multiple blog sites maintaining a Tesla death watch. He goes on to say, I think it would be arrogant if we said we were definitely going to do it as opposed to we're aspiring to do it and we're going to give it our best shot. But Musk ignored the critics and he pushed ahead anyway. He wasn't worried about looking stupid or failing in financial terms because his focus was on pursuing important ideas. I think we're all too often constrained by the critics to a certain extent. What probably holds us back the most is that voice in our heads telling us that we're not good enough, we're going to fail, we might look stupid if we get something wrong. It can be absolutely debilitating. Overcoming that fear of external and internal critics is a very powerful thing indeed. And then finally from this BBC article, Secret of Success number six, enjoy yourself. The article reminds us that Musk is a workaholic. He puts in 120 hour working weeks to keep the production of the Tesla Model 3 on track, but he enjoys work. Mark Antony once said, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Society frowns on the workaholic, but that's only because they probably don't like their own jobs. We see so many people who live for the weekend, grinding through the nine to five from Monday to Friday, getting that feeling of dread each time Monday rolls around. What sort of a life is that? Those were the six business secrets from Elon Musk covered in this new BBC News article. I'll link to that in the description. But I promised you one more, didn't I? This one comes from Ashley Vance's biography of Elon Musk, which I read back in January 2018. And it's this line. 
One of my favorite things about Elon is his ability to make enormous decisions very quickly. That is still how it works today. Speed matters when it comes to success, and the ability to make big decisions quickly is often a differentiating factor between those who get on in life and those who are left behind. In his 1937 book, Think and Grow Rich, journalist Napoleon Hill, after studying the success habits of 500 millionaires, concluded that people who fail to accumulate money without exception have the habit of reaching decisions, if at all, very slowly and of changing those decisions quickly and often. You can train your brain to make faster decisions by starting off with the small and seemingly inconsequential stuff that won't cause any damage if you make the wrong call. Over time, you should get better at making more significant decisions. But key in what Hill said in Think and Grow Rich was the ability to stick with the decision once made. There you have it, six secrets of business success from a man who is now the richest person in the world, Mr. Elon Musk, plus one tip I spotted in his biography by Ashley Vance. Which one was your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, I'm Martin Bamford, and remember, when it comes to your money, the more you know, the faster it can grow.